Hi, I'm Rahul and in this tutorial we will learn about fasting. Fasting is a function in HGG plot to package that gives such more control over the plots. Fasting is a technique for displaying its additional categorical variables on a plot. And fasting uh, splits the data into subsets and displays same plot for each data subsets. The fasting basically consists of facet underscore null function, facet underscore wow, and facet underscore grid function. So first, uh, let's talk about the facet underscore warp function. This generates a long ribbon of panels produced by any number of variables, and this warps in, in it into 2D. Useful for single variables with such many levels, and control is available with n column and n row arguments. So first, you should import the ggplot to library, and in this tutorial, I'm going to use the mpg package. So to access the data inside a package like say ggplot2, use the data function and inside package equal to inside quotation ggplot2 and press control enter. You can see here mpg packages, uh, mpg data set is there. It is a fuel economy data from 1999 to 2008 for 38 popular models of car. So I'm going to use three variables here, the displacement that is engine displacement in liters, HWI that is highway miles per gallon or efficiency of the vehicle or efficiency of the engine you can say or vehicle and DRV that is inclu that includes F equal to front wheel drive or equal to rear wheel drive and 4 equal to 4 WD, 4 wheel drive. So let's see the data stru structure of the data, use the STR function and give the MPG. You can see uh, this is a table, a data frame or data frame and it's a table. So you can also get a glimpse using the glimpse function which from the DPL wire package to see. It gives, uh, it's similar to STR function or structure function here, but give us a better overview because it uses such a table. So you can use the DPL wire or double uh, colon give the glimpse function an mpg and press ctrl enter it also gives the structure like here the uh, displacement is a double and drb is character and hwi is integer and if you see the structure then it says that displacement in numeric and drb in character and hwi is an integer so let's such a first plot is scatter plot which between uh, the displacement versus uh, HWI or efficiency and gives the color as the argument which, or map as a color equal to DRV. So to plot that scatter plot, use the ggplot function, give data inside that give data equal to mpg with comma mapping what you want to map equal to aesthetic AES x in x give it a displacement and y give HWI and color give DRV plus give the we would like to plot a scatter plot so the geom would be a uh, point geom so our uh, geometry would be such a point geometry so geom underscore point function and press ctrl enter it will save that inside the plot one such object and if you see the plot one you can see it is a uh, plot between displacement versus such hwi with based on a drv variable in different colors so let's first add that uh, use the function facet underscore warp and to apply that function first use the object where we have saved the earlier plot plus use the facet underscore warp and a function and inside that give the tilde drv that is such a based on a drv variable we want to make subplots and how we would we would like to represent it using a number of columns equal to two if you press Control enter or run that code, you will get that it is now divided based on the DRV 4, F, and R. It now divided into separate plots. And you can also add more than one variable so that it will give the combinations. Like earlier, we have used with tilde the DRV, we can also add with such a DRV plus such a class so that it will give the combination of plots of DRV and its class. If you press Ctrl Enter, then you will get a plot like that.
based on different combinations like uh, drv and the class combinations like four compact four mid-size four pickup four subcompact four suv f minivan f subcompact and so on so let's talk about the facet underscore grid it provides plots in a 2d grid where dot tilde x the spread values of x across the column and x tilde dot spread values of x such down the rows so while if you use both like x tilde y then it spreads a, spreads the x across column and y down rows it is recommended to put variable across column which has such many levels which has many levels so again i am using the plot earlier as a plot object plot one plus using now the facet underscore grid function and giving the combination class tilde drv so class then it's a tilde drv here it's a class it acts as a x that means it is it sp spreads across a column where the drv act as a y which is spread such a down rows okay so if you press control enter then you can, you can see the combinations here is the drv variables and here is the class variables and here uh, the plots between the displacement and the hwy here you can see that the scales for y or x axis is constant like 2 to 7 2 to 7 2 to 7 here and 20 to 40 20 to 40 and so on so you can uh, you can see here uh, that some space is unutilized so you can free the axis so that axis would vary like this would be uh, 20 to something else this would be 20 to something else based on the requirement of space so to do that you can use the adjust the scales and scales argument provides better control on axis fixed versus free so to do that again use the plot one plus facet underscore grid between class versus drv with comma scales equal to free under in a scales equal to argument give in quotation free underscore x that means we are freeing the x axis and if you press control enter now you can see that the x axis representation 2 to 6 here 2 to 5 here and 4 to 7 here so the scale is now free for each panel here and you can do it for the y axis too so here i am giving the free underscore y and press control enter then it will show that the y axis is now free it is 12 to 24 based on 4 interval here 20 to 45 based on 5 interval based on the requirement it automatically automatically frees the uh, limits of that y axis in different panels so in this way you can choose the grid to get more in our detail inside of the data based on different combinations of a categorical variable you should remember that it should be a categorical variable not continuous variable so thanks for watching